Well, we now know what he was building. He made it's made a lot of noise taking all the trees down in this area. He must have told them they can keep the wood just to do the work. But why has he built this? He says he's lonely. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Survival Challenge. We have a number of chaff pallets here. They can be emptied into our bunker as soon as we buy it. But uh, I don't think we've got the money for it just at the minute. Uh, first job today is going to be to harvest the wheat. The second wheat field is ready. The humongous, humongous wheat field. This one here is ready. Then we'll have the straw to bale up off of both fields. In fact, should I do straw off the second field? Should I just keep it to the first field? Because we don't need an awful lot of straw. So it doesn't have to be done. I might just um, chop it, actually, to be perfectly honest. Um... And then, yeah, we are... So we've got, now, we have got quite a lot of flour. Uh, I need to deactivate that. We could start making bread. Potentially. Let's activate that and start making bread. We have, poten we have got the other bits on the way. As soon as we've finished making bread, though... Uh, sorry, as soon as we've, we've got the sugar, we will finish making bread. And we will instead make cake. I don't want to use all the flour. But. Maybe we could hold on to the rest of this uh, wheat. And then not make it into flour until. Um, yeah until later on. So. We need to crack on. First job then today is to get this field harvested. So that's what we're going to do. Oh uh, yeah, need to switch it onto chop straw. It's not going to fertilise the field, unfortunately, but it's also just going to—it's going to be a waste because there's going to be way more jobs for us to do than to transport uh, straw bales down to the cell point for very little money. So we might as well chop it. We're going to get plenty of straw bales off of that field there, which we'll do straight after this and then both of these fields need to be ploughed and stone picked we are going to need some more money mm. anyway let's crack on with this and when it's done we can get on with the um, bailing the straw as well.
Right, it was it was sizing up to be an absolutely massive task, so I've called in Derek to help us. Derek's in the combine. We're going to get him emptied now, which is going to fill my trailer up, and then we're going to go and empty it into the factory. But yeah, we definitely, definitely needed some help with this. It was getting ridiculous. so close to a full trailer load but we will go and empty it now anyway then we'll bring the trailer back we might as well start bailing up the uh, the straw but it does take uh, a good few runs up and down for Derek to fill up oh, ah, 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 ah. Oh. Not ideal. I asked you to stay a while, but it's not easy making promises. You got a habit of moving on, and so you'd rather be anonymous. You said it's not as bad as all that. Just need to take a deep breath and relax. We've got plenty of time to. So I've managed to get all the uh, straw in the other field bailed up, which is pretty awesome. The uh, harvester is still going with Derek at the helm and missing bits appropriately because Derek's at the helm. Right, that is the harvester empty. I'm going to go and empty this trailer load out into the factory and come back for a bit more. Going to collect all those bales up as well. So we're, um, I was going to say ploughing along nicely, but we're harvesting along nicely. How's my greenhouse getting along? Loads of water in there. Loads of strawberries, loads of butter, loads of flour. In fact, are we still making flour? I did say I wasn't going to, but why not? All it's going to do is fill this up. 
And that'd be it. We haven't produced any bread yet, as far as I can see. Nope, no bread produced just yet. Uh, I'll tell you what, leave that there for now. We'll go and get the bale collector. And we'll pick up all the bales from the field and take them over to the storage. Um, I think, well I don't think we're going to be able to afford any sort of uh, forage harvester for the corn this year. So I think we'll be harvesting that as corn. There's still other productions we can put it into to make flour or to make yes flour um, but yeah I really don't think we need to how are the cows doing for food incidentally they probably need another couple of mixes made up today doing alright for slurry chickens are really good things are going well how much milk did they have actually oh, 4000 yep so we're, we're doing good Oh, there's a bit of stone there. So yeah, next job is going to be get these fields ploughed up. So we can start collecting stones off them. However, the stone collector, collector is £64,000. So we also need to make some money, sell some things. Which I think is where the bread's going to come in. So we can sell some some bread. I'm not going to spend any more money until we've got that there. And the cakes are going to be going as well. We've got everything we need for the harvest this year. It's just getting the fields ploughed and stone picked afterwards. And that can be done over the winter once we've sold some of our goods. Right, that bale on the left there is a different size, slightly smaller. I made these ones the biggest ones you could get. Uh, as a result, I don't know if we'll fit 14 on. Yeah, we will fit 14 on. Yes, we will. The 7 is still 50%. Just a few more litres than normal. Anyway. I'll probably have to come back for another load. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. And then we'll have to tidy up on that field after Derek, because Derek has made a right mess. Yes, I will have to come back for the last few, but that's alright. We might be able to offload them and then put them straight into the cow pen for their bedding. The last few, that is. Don't think we'll be able to put them into the cow pen from this, but we'll be able to pick them up with the front loader and move them in there after we've finished all the other work. Right, I'll get on with picking the rest of these up and then we'll get the other field sorted. decided to take over for a bit so um, yes Derek's going to go and put his feet up he's worked all right he's, he's, a, he's had a good time he's done worse in this field before but uh, yeah he's getting tired and when he gets tired he makes mistakes so yeah we're just going to get this last bit done
we'll go twice around these trees and then we'll just go around catching all the little bits oh. we're catching all the little trees But yeah, the money that we've got here has got to, got to be saved and go towards a plough. Well, we know which plough, because I, I showed you that. And the um, the stone picker. We know which stone picker, but that's £64,000. So, like I said, we can, we can do that over winter. Can we do it over winter? I'd like to get some gold. Really need to get some gold sorted. Oh, as soon as we can harvest the sugar beet, we can start making cakes. I think end of today's episode, I will stop the production of bread, and I'll concentrate on making sure that we've got everything we need to make cakes. Because I think. And I've been wrong before. Oh no, it's going to be October, November before we can start harvesting the sugar cane. Hmm, we need something to bring the money in before that. We've, we've got the cheese. Cheese is good. That's all cleared up from around there. Got a square patch to do here. I don't think we'll be needing to empty the harvester again before the end, but you know, I'm happy to be proved wrong because it means we get more. But uh, not much left to do now on a field that is absolutely huge. I think there's a little bit down the bottom possibly to get as well. It's over there, look. Tiny little bit, nothing much. Just harvest this in a crescent shape. Right, I'll do a jump cut now and I'll see you when we're all done. Well, I was right about not needing to empty again, although it was quite close. 92% full. I expected it to be a lot further away than that. But for once, I was right. How about that? Right, let's get this unloaded into the trailer. We'll go and put the combine away. I'll say away, we'll just park it up outside where it normally is. We'll get the rest of this wheat over to the factory to make flour. And then we'll, uh, yes, we'll feed the cows. I think we've got a fairly full feed mixer already inside the cow shed that would be a nice easy one to start with and then we'll make up one feed mix before we uh, before we finish right there we go it is all into our factory for making flour 39,000 litres of wheat and it's going through it quite quickly it's making quite a lot of chaff which is great news. We are making bread at the minute and the flour is increasing, but we'll still put a stop to the bread before the end of the day. Don't know where it popped out of that uh, bakery, but I'm sure we'll find out. That can stay there. 
And we need to feed the cows. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of a feed mix in here. So that will all empty out nicely. And then we can make another one up. So we've got a fair amount of bedding as well, so that's good. But yeah, I'm expecting this to maybe half fill it. But we might make another two up, we'll see. Oh dear. That's not ideal. Right then. Switch that on. And we'll get out some stuff. So, straw bales, we want one of those. Pay two of those. Silage. Four of those. I think that's about right. Possibly. Alright, let's get half the straw bale in now. Fill the rest up with hay. Possibly. It may be that I'll need to get more hay bales out, I'm not really sure. But we want 4,500 litres of this to go in. And not a penny more. Fifty percent. Well, that's a little bit much. Hopefully, we can fill the rest up with hay and silage, and then this bale can go into the next mix. I know I'm using the pallet forks now instead of that bale spike, but I really should sell that bale spike. Right now, let's put a whole one of these in. And then possibly another silage bale on top. Hope that that's going to take down the uh, straw to an acceptable level. Otherwise, we are scuppered. We'll be using a third of a bale in each mix, not half a bale. Right, let's see how that looks. Ah, brilliant. Yep, that's the right amount. And there you go, another silage bale in there. To change the mix as it goes. That probably could put the other silage hay and straw bales in there so that it all mixes up as it comes out. Ooh, is that dicing with death? Quite possibly. Uh, yeah, that's not going to fit in, is it? Because we'd need the other hay and one more silage, I think. To mix it all in properly. Oh, and we've got to fit under the roof. Oh, this is going to go badly. Tell you what, let's take that straw bale out. And we'll do another mix afterwards. That seems like the safer bet. There. Right then. Here we go. 
Much better. How's that looking? Good, that's climbing slowly. We will do another one, it probably won't all fit in. But uh, at least it'll be ready for next time. Right, that's the first one emptied. Second one is good to go. I think I want one silage bale in first, then hay, and then another silage bale. That should mix nicely. Otherwise, there'll be too much hay to start with, not enough silage. Or if I put both silage bales in straight away, there'll be too much silage, not enough hay. Got to get it just right so it mixes as you empty. And then the other silage bale can go in on top. Right, we can turn this one off. We can stop that one from mixing. But we can start it from emptying. There we go. Great stuff. Yep, that is going to fill up before we've emptied this out. So that's great. And there we go. Cow trough is all full. And that is good for next time. Right, so the one last thing I wanted to do is just to deactivate the bread for now. We can reactivate it once we've got all the ingredients for the cake in there. We make cake and bread at the same time. But I believe that cake is worth a lot more than bread. And I'd prefer to put my effort into that. So the cake is 9,000 per pallet, or 1,000 litres. Bread is only 3,000 per 1,000 litres. So I'd be, I'd be silly to put my uh, efforts into bread, to be honest. It has... No, it hasn't spawned anything yet. We've got cheese. It's processing more milk. So yes, we are on the way to getting additional money, which is good because it's what we're going to need for the stone picker. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.